Hi guys, Aguilava here. When Game of Thrones has been released their season 7th trailer on YouTube, it had an end title like this. It's good, right? So today we are going to create a new cinematic title on Premiere. Look like this Game of Thrones title. So let's check it out. Before we are going to the tutorial, we need to download some files. These are that files. These six items. Uh, you can see there's two different audio files. I used these two audio files to create two different moods. If you want a different mood, you can choose your own uh, music uh, files. I downloaded this music file from YouTube Audio Library. After that, you have to download these two files. These are two steel textures that I downloaded from Google Image and I'll link them in the description. And the next one is this video file. I downloaded this file from a stock footage website and I link that in the description. And the main thing is we need the Game of Thrones font. You know the Game of Thrones font, it has looked different. I never saw that font in my life before. So you, uh, we have to download this font. Uh, go to Google, just search Game of Thrones font. You will get a lot of websites that having this font. And I also link the website that I download this file on the description. So go to that uh, website and download this font file. And how to install this font file into the Windows PC. For that, just click the Windows key on your keyboard or go to the start and just type font and click this font directory and the font directory will open and simply just drag and drop the font file into the library. I already installed the font in my computer so it's showing that the Game of Thrones font is already installed. Do you want to replace? I don't want to replace. No. After the installation, just close the font directory and open the Premiere Pro for creating the cinematic title. I already created the new sequence and created the text with two different music and I'll show you how that effect. You can see it was uh, it was a simple music. It was good, and there's another one. It's a more dramatic, more cinematic music. It's good, right? So creating the text file we need to create our own sequence for that you know click ctrl n to create new sequence or you can go to file new sequence and create a hd sequence uh, for that i go into custom 1920 1080 uh, why i'm creating a hd sequence because my video file is a hd file so i have i can't create a 4k or 2k uh, sequence for that so i am renaming the sequence into game title if you are if you are going to download a 4k video file you can create a 4k uh, sequence and the next step we have to import our video footage into the timeline for that just double click the video file and mark the in and out point and just simply click the dot point on the keyboard to import the video file or you can just click and drag and drop the video file into the sequence and just play you can see the puzzles are moving very fast in this video so i have to reduce the speed for reducing the speed go to right click speed duration and change into 60 percent i use the 60 percent so yeah the particles moving very slow it's good so the next part is we have to create a new title for that just click ctrl t for creating the new title or you can go to this window title new and default still and rename into game title whatever uh, name you can use uh, this is the width and height the full hd file 
and click OK and our font window will appear. And just click on the screen and type whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to type Game of Thrones and to change the font just select all font by Ctrl A and change the font by clicking over here and select Game of Thrones font. Yeah, it look good, right? And these are two buttons too and it will automatically align our text into the center. Okay, we created our title, you can see, uh, but it's it's a flat title uh, text that uh, it has no 3D effect on it. You can see in the Game of Thrones title, so it's a 3D file. They use 3D uh, technology for that, but Premiere Pro have, a, have no 3D technology to create 3D text. But we are going to fake the 3D effects on Premiere. I'll show you how. First, click the font and go to the fill area and enable the texture. After enabling the texture, go to the texture menu. You can see there is a square over here and click that square and select one of our texture. And I'm going to use this texture first. Yeah, you can see the texture and create some scaling effect. Okay, I think it's good. Change uh, whatever that need in blending mode. I'm going to change 180 and it's okay and to achieve the 3d look on premiere click on the text and go to the shadow enable the shadow and go to the shadow menu and click this black box over here to change the color of the shadow you can see the background is already black so if you use the black for shadow it won't appear in this video so I'm going to select a gray one for this. Why I choose the gray one? Because our font is already in gray because we uh, chosen a texture that in a gray look. And we want to align into a different angle. It's good. And you can see it's not look good. So for that, we need to reduce the distance. I use seven for the distance and spread decrease into six or seven that will be good and the next step is we need to get a silver look for that click the uh, text and go to the inner stroke and click on the add after clicking the add just go to the texture and click the texture then go to the texture menu and click on the square box and select this steel texture over here after selecting that change the type of the inner stroke into 10 then rearrange the size okay so it's good i think and if you want to change the angle you can change the angle whatever angle you need i think it's good and in blend mode uh, change into 80 or even 90 you can use that's no problem and all our work has been finished but not yet uh, close it and go to the title that game title already we created and just simply drag and drop top of our video and see it look good or not yes it look good but you can see over here the shadow is not good at all because it's uh, differentiate the shadow and the text so double click on the text file and go to the shadow distance reduce the distance into 4 and check it yeah adjust the angle a little bit yeah it's look good right it's look uh, some 3d effects on it because the shadow makes it 3d text and it's look good. So our work has been finished. Just close it. And if you you need some music, just put this music uh, below the video file and render it and use uh, the text wherever you want in short films or anything. If you want the text look more good, just double click on it and just select the all text and adjust all these. 
and align the text then give some motion so for that I am going to keyframe on the scaling go to all the way to the last frame just click on the keyframe and Q for one temp value and go to sequence render into out and let's check it work or not yes it's look good so we managed to create a new cinematic title on Premiere Pro that look like Game of Thrones title and if you like my video please give me thumbs up or if you don't like my video please click on that dislike button or if you want to see more videos from my channel please subscribe my channel thank you see you soon